What's cracking guys? Zach Trees here, Capital Fort Chesapeake Square, and today I'm bringing you two Mustangs. To my left, a GT Premium, and to my right, an EcoBoost Premium. So let's check them out. Now, the GT Premium and the GT overall, as far as the engine goes, is going to offer you 435 horsepower and 400 pounds of torque. That's a lot, guys. Basically, rip the tires off this car. The vehicle sitting next to me, the four cylinder EcoBoost, second best in line, is going to pull 310 horses and 320 pounds of torque out of that small engine. That is a four cylinder, 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine turbocharged. The interiors of the vehicles are, are pretty similar, guys. I'm going to go over these vehicles with you, and we're going to take a look at the V8. So, the 5 .0, there's a couple distinguishing factors that let you know this is a 5.0 versus an EcoBoost. And you're gonna be able to see right here. One is that plain as day badge on the, right next to the, the quarter panel next to the door. Letting you know that this is a five liter engine, guys. Now, right off the back, you're gonna notice one thing. The EcoBoost here has bigger and black ebony wheels. Now, what this is, is a, this vehicle has a performance pack on it. It has a different rear axle, it has a different gear ratio, and the wheels are offset, so the back wheels are bigger than the front, which gives this a little more you know, of, a, of an edge when it really comes to you know, those, those turns and corners and right off the line. It's still not gonna be able to mess with the 5.0, even though this is not a performance pack, this is gonna be your standard 5.0. Um, you're gonna have your standard wheel options. It does come available in a performance pack with a 373, 373 torsion rear axle. Another big difference, guys, you're going to notice is going to be the front end of the vehicle. Look in here, guys. You're going to have these two bars on the grill, which is really going to let you know it's a GT. Another thing you're going to realize is on the hood, you have these hood dampeners, which let air escape from the hood. Now I'm going to pop the hood and let you guys take a look at what this 5 0 engine looks like. There it is, guys. The five liter engine right here. Really beautiful. Now, since this vehicle is an automatic, on the GT Premium, that's going to come standard with heated and cooled seats. That's all going to come, also going to come standard with keyless entry and remote start. So, this is the way the key is going to look on the GT Premium. That is automatic. A lock, unlock, a remote start button, your trunk pop, and then your horn. Now, if this vehicle was not an automatic, it was a manual, you will not have a remote start feature for the vehicle. It's not available. You cannot remote start the car. Just because of the way the transmission is, you don't know if it's in first gear, in, in neutral, reverse, and it can really do harm to the transmission. This vehicle does have blind spot indicator sensors. Now, that is an option on the premium. You, it, it all depends on what stage of the premium you get. So you're gonna notice in this mirror here, gives you a blind spot indicator sensor with this little orb here lights up orange. Let you know when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. You're gonna be able to notice which vehicle is which by taking a look at the rear. Really simple guys, the GT is gonna say GT and the EcoBoost is gonna have the running bunny. If you can't tell from there, you can also tell from the exhaust. The exhaust on the GT is gonna have a, a bezel tip, a polished aluminum bezel tip. Whereas the EcoBoost is going to have a posh little bit, but the tip is not bezel. For the Mustang, for 2015 and above, they're offering you a way to open the trunk from the rear. On the previous year, Miles 2014 and back, you had to either go inside the cab or you had to open it from the key fob. 2015 and up, up above the, the license plate bracket is a button that lets you open the trunk to the vehicle. Now the vehicle that you're looking at guys is a, is a GT Premium, pretty loaded up. It's also going to offer you the Shaker surround sound system. Once again, that's an option guys. So this is going to be the 10 inch subwoofer that's going to be in the back of the vehicle. And this is optional on a Premium if your vehicle has it. It's a really nice feature. If not, the standard sound system is still good. Now on the Mustangs, depending on how the dealer orders the vehicle, it's going to offer you with two different options for a spare tire. Either a spare tire kit or a spare tire. This vehicle is gonna have the spare tire kit. If there was a spare tire, it would be 
wrapped in here. You can see where the tire would go. But the majority of them come with a spare tire kit. Not a lot of people use these vehicles as their daily drivers, but if you did, you know, you can get it with a spare tire if you like. Touching on the interior, guys, the GT Premium, this vehicle is going to have the saddle interior. So check out the, the color of the interior of the vehicle. It's a really nice dark brown leather, almost that King Ranch style leather in the vehicle. It looks really awesome. Now this is an option. You have different colors like ceramic, then your ebony black, and then you also have a red line color, which is going to be a red instead of this saddle here. All right, guys. Now we're sitting inside of the GT Premium. This is a really cool car, guys. Really excited to show you. This is there's a lot of nice features on this car uh, that really give the driver comfort and you know that sense of I, I'm in a race car. So. What you're going to notice here, guys, and we're going to take a look here, is just, just the layout of the vehicle. This nice silver trim molding with the leather on top and then the Mustang symbol signifying that we've had Mustangs since 1964. Really giving you that heritage inside the vehicle while you're sitting in there. Since this is a GT Premium, it's going to have a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's going to have a lot of nice little odds and ends such as heated and cooled seats. But I'm going to start going over things on this side first, guys. This is your intelligence screen here. This is going to give you information such as your different gauges. So you can go through your tire pressure gauges, your air ratio, your cylinder head temperature, your oil pressure, and all that good stuff. All right, taking a look at the, trap at, the track app screen, guys. You have your accelerometer, your acceleration timer, your brake performance, and then your line lock system. Your line lock system is very unique, and what that is going to offer you is you can actually set it to once the vehicle hits a certain RPM, the vehicle will take off versus having to throw the vehicle in neutral or you know, pump the brakes or anything like that. Your standard ways of trying to lock trying to trying to lock on the line before taking off. This vehicle is also going to give you some different driver assist. So you're, you're going to be able to turn on your on and off your blind spot, turn on and off your cross traffic alert, and turn on and off your adaptive cruise control. So taking a look at the steering wheel guys, things are a little bit different. This vehicle does have adaptive cruise control, which is going to be really nice if you're a traveler and you're on the highway because it will, it will adapt to what the traffic is going. So you can set a max mile per hour, say the vehicle that you only want to go 70 miles an hour, and then you put a gap of how far you want to be in front of the, uh, in front of the person in front of you, how far you want to be away from them. So if you're four car lengths away, the vehicle will stay four car lengths away the entire time and will adjust speed to the vehicle that's in front of you but won't go over your limit really nice feature really a comfort feature so you don't have to keep readjusting your cruise control or pressing the brakes and pressing the gas you're also going to notice that this vehicle comes with the paddle shifters the plus and minus paddle shifters here another really nice feature guys so you can actually feel like you're on the track and shift through the gears with a really responsive select shift, select shift transmission. Looking at this center stack here, guys, you're going to notice that this vehicle does have Sync 3, which is a really nice feature for the vehicle, giving you all your base controls, so your, your heated seats, your cooled seats, your volume, your phone technology. This, it's endless what this whole system can do. You're also going to notice down here, guys, the fighter pilot switches. So you can actually shift through different modes on the vehicle. So you can turn traction control on and off. You can also change the way that the steering wheel handles as far as sport mode and comfort. And then this here is going to be for your different modes for the driving modes. So you have your normal, your sport plus mode, your track mode, and then your snow and wet mode. Also, right next to the gear shifter, guys, is going to be your engine start and stop button really convenient right there so right when you get to the vehicle it's right next to your hand before you put your hand on the gear shifter all right guys checking out the interior of the ecoboost premium this one is going to have the ebony interior so take a look at what that looks like all black the white stitching really some nice detail to it this is a perforated leather it does have heated cool seats all right guys inside the ecoboost premium there's not much different from the GT Premium, but I wanted to point out a couple things. One, we're in a vehicle that has a performance pack. So take a look at the dash here. The difference in the dash from this vehicle versus the GT, this is going to have that, that nice polished like steel look. It really gives it a different look to the vehicle, guys. Another thing that you're going to realize right off the bat 
is we're missing a vent for your AC. You have two gauges here, an oil pressure and a boost gauge. So when we when we take and rev the engine here, you're gonna be able to see the oil pressure and the boost gauge change to give you how much boost that the, the vehicle is getting to the turbo. Also, another big difference between this vehicle and the GT, and this is available in the GT, is gonna be this gear shifter. Yeah, we have a manual in the EcoBoost Premium. Really cool, guys. We can take and shift through the gears. This is a short shifting gear. So, you know, it's also a six speed. Really easy, guys, to shift through the gears. Another thing that they offer for Ford is you no longer kick it all the way to the right or kick it all the way to the left to put it in reverse. You actually pull this ring up and it goes in reverse very easy, giving you your backup camera right here at the front. All right, guys, thanks for checking out our two vehicles today, our GT Premium and our EcoBoost Premium. Once again, I'm Zach Trues over Cavalier for Chesapeake Square and Chesapeake, Virginia, 4021 Portsmouth Boulevard. Come check us out at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our channel. Hit like if you like the video and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys want to see different content or have any questions about these vehicles. We appreciate all the feedback, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video.